OK, so it says simplify. So we've got to do a little bit of multiplication here. And let's do this one here. Let's give us 3 multiplied by 2x gives me 6x. 3 multiplied by 5y gives me 15y. And if I do this one here, 2 times x gives me 2x. 2 times 4y, or minus 4y gives me minus 8y. So at the moment, those two things are the same. If I just finish there, it will give me a mark. If I want to collect these bits together, so 6x and add 2x is 8x. 15y minus 8y is 7y. And that's my final answer. Okay, that will give me a second mark. Down here, it says factorize fully. Well, factorize is the opposite process. It means I need to go into brackets. So I need not one number. In this case, it's going to be subtract in between. And I need to fill in my numbers here. So I want to find all the things that go into 12 and 20. In this case, the biggest number, the highest common factor, 12 and 20 is. 4 and how do I get the 12g? Well, I've got to multiply by 3g. How do I get the minus 20? We've got by minus 5. So my final answer is 4, 3g, minus 5. And you, it says here you've got to factorize it fully because there are other other factorizations. If I chosen the number 2, I'd have to have 6g minus 10. That looks right. I don't like this answer compared to this answer because that is not the highest common factor. It's a factor, but it's not the biggest one. To factorize fully, I need the biggest number on the outside of the bracket. Right. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Well, there's a rule here, isn't there? There's a rule about indices. There's a rule about indices, and that tells me that. I add up the powers. So in this case, it's just x of 7 plus 4, which is 11. There is one here. We can cancel some things out. 24 divided by 6 gives me 4. Using a similar rule to this one, but with the divide. The base or the bottom number stays the same, and I subtract the powers. So if I'm doing x to the 5 divided by x, it means I'm going to subtract power of 1 from power of 5. It gives me power of 4. And the same thing here. If I do the 2 from the 9, or the 9 take away 2, it gives me 7. So, final answer. Simplified fully. 4x to the power 4, y to the power 7. And the last one. A little multiplication. Double bracket. I like to do this as a grid where I have t and plus 9, the first bit along the top, and I have the second bit along the bottom, which gives me four possible answers. I'm going to put t times t is t squared, 2 times 9 is 18, 2 times t, 2t, two t, two I'm sorry, t times 9 is 9t. Now, what you'll find is, unfortunately red doesn't go with red because they're too different, but the diagonal is always going to go the same. So I'm going to get t squared, Combining up 9t and 2t is 11t plus 18. You get one mark for using the grid or another method to get four possible answers, and then you get a second mark for collecting it all up together.